Right. Okay, the subject right now is May Day in the UK, or London specifically, the year 2014. Well, what May Day? Um, I didn't bother to turn up to the Clark and Well Green one, uh, the Borat demonstration, where you've got more Turkish and uh, Kurdish communists, usually about about a thousand of them. Ironic, isn't it, that those thousands plus are probably more than the entire membership of the uh, British Communist Party, God bless it, or what's left of it. Uh, not that I'm mourning the, the passing of that, though, but I just find it ironic that there's more communists from Kurdistan and Turkey in Stoke Newington than there is indigenous communists in the whole of the UK. But that's just part of the uh, general malaise that we're in. So... Um, I also uh, t turned on to Russia today and there was a, a beaming reporter from Trafalgar Square announcing a mass march was going to Trafalgar Square. It was raining where I was, which was only a couple of miles from Trafalgar Square, and uh, yet warm and sunny. One wondered as if it was the same year even that this uh, broadcast was coming out from. Maybe it was a, another year because it certainly wasn't raining in Trafalgar Square. But, um, oh, I, I didn't go. But was it worth going? No, it was not. It would have been worth going if it was like a continental one in Brussels or Paris or Berlin, and tens of thousands of people turning up. But when you've got like, the uh, indigenous contingent outnumbered by Turkish Stalinists, it is a bit of a bit of a joke, really, isn't it? It's not really May Day as we understand it. And I'd say that there was no noticeable events in the whole of the UK over May Day. There were certainly no reports of clashes or violence or anybody getting arrested or anything at all. It seemed to be a few tiny little things going on, completely ignored by the rest of the population. Now you might think to yourself, well, a lazy bastard sitting on his ass, not getting out there and going there. But I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, I did actually go to a May Day demonstration. I heard that the real big one, the real interesting one, which would be uh, something to do with supporting the cleaners in the universities and also cops of a campus demonstration might be fairly big despite the miserable weather. And I thought, well, I'll go along to distribute some flyers. So I went along. Arrived a little bit late, quarter an hour after the kickoff time. I saw literally about two dozen people huddled under a building, keeping out of the rain. It wasn't that the streets were deserted. There was hundreds of people within view, all the so-called radical students, all doing something else, rushing to their lectures, rushing from their lectures, and, ri and riding on their Boris bikes back to their pads at Student Castle, or wherever it is they live. Nothing going on there. I just walked away with disgust. I thought it was like just typical. There was probably more people on the May Day March in Greenland than there was on the on, on this particular thing. So uh, I'd say that the May Day was a complete non-event in Britain. And it goes to show the sort of apathy that we're uh, struggling against. Just look what's happened over the last couple of days in the UK as well. The first flat, not house, but apartment has just sold for £140 million. And yet we've got hundreds of thousands of people virtually homeless in London. But, you know, nothing's happening. Nobody's protesting about it. The whole rotten corrupt system with a judge being jailed for perjury. What an irony. Um, Max Clifford getting eight years. Big scandal about a leading member of the Labour Party being involved in child sex abuse. And of course, we're not allowed to know the name of the person. And should I mention the person who I don't even know who it is, I could probably find the, the police kicking down the door and being dragged off um, and arrested for libeling some member of society, an upstanding MP or something who does a lot for charity. What's really happening here is that the country is moving to the right. Not Nazis marching in the street, but to the right. Hence, 
I fully expect UKIP to come top of the poll in the Euro elections in a few weeks' time. And I'd say that um, there are other things as well. People having completely low pay, no rage rises for, for years, standard living slipping. And something I found quite disturbing on the news today, Saturday, about one million old people living in complete isolation and loneliness with only a pet or the TV for company. And that's it. Is this the sort of society we want? This surely is enough to get people out on the streets demonstrating just the sheer anger and sheer frustration. This must be like tens of millions of people must be completely alienated from the system, and yet they're not willing to do anything about it. There's no spontaneous reaction. The only spontaneous reaction I see is the growing UKIP vote. And I don't really think that that's all right, unless it was happened to be in the left, and you think, oh, yes, great, great, people voting against uh, Europe, as we are against Europe. So that's really good. Not realising, of course, you know, that there's probably millions of working class people that are going to vote like turkeys for Christmas for UKIP, completely against their own interests. But that's just against Europe, that's okay. Um, as for activists, we haven't been able to mount anything on the streets. I think that's reflective of what's going on rather than a um, reflection of ourselves. What we've done is pitiful. There's been a few things around the country, pulled out a few hundred people, whereas 10 years ago, 15 years ago, we could have had like, and we did have like thousands of people on the streets. What's happened to these people? What's happened to us? Why can't we do anything? Why have we no imagination? Why... Uh, I was looking for reports on May Day stuff on the internet, uh, something I'm quite new to at the moment, in Britain, and I could find nothing except small and pitiful demonstrations and pictures of what happened two or three years ago. And also we've got the two strike coming up in uh, three days' time. And the great British public, I wouldn't be surprised if pickets and uh, people from the RNT were actually physically assaulted by enraged members of the public. Those turkeys that vote for Christmas. The RNT people are out there for them as well as themselves. But they're so taken in by uh, ruling class propaganda, by what's in the evening, Boris and so on. You'd think that they, they, you'd think that the RMT members were getting sort of bankers' bonuses or something for wages. Oh, they're too well paid. Oh, they get too much. They get a fraction of what the average wage is in the city. That's what they get. Yeah, they're quite highly paid, but they're only highly, highly paid in comparison to everybody on the minimum wage. Um, so I think the situation is pretty bad, actually. I mean, we need to have a serious debate about all of us, political and non-political. Why is there nothing happening? Because nothing is happening. Nothing at all. There's no spontaneity on the streets. There's absolutely nothing. And yeah, you know, maybe there was 2,000 people on the May Day March, but it's, it's, it's completely meaningless ritual. It doesn't mean anything. It's completely removed. Everybody went to work on May Day. How many people took May Day off on May Day itself to attend May Day things? One in a thousand? Well, even if it was one in a thousand, it would still be quite a few people out on the streets. Maybe one in 10,000? That's probably more what it was like. These are the averages. These are the statistics we're having to put up with. We need to have a dialogue about all this. Why is it? Why is nothing happening in this miserable island? Why are we living in a not only in a political tomb, which I've been describing as, but we seem to be living in a situation where we're buried a mile underground. This is a situation. What we need, again, is spontaneity on the streets, not from us, but from the people when they've had enough. But it seems that they can't get enough of the badness. They like it. They love it. We ha they're going to vote for UKIP. When the election comes next year, they're going to vote Conservative. That's the way it is, I'm afraid. There's more racism now. There's more. I'll tell you what it's like. It's like the 60s used to be like. Think back to the 60s. I lived through the 60s. I was quite young. But I don't remember any 
workers occupying their factories. I don't remember any barricades on the streets because they never happened. Yes, workers did come out onto the streets in support of Enoch Powell spontaneously. Tens of thousands of them pouring out of factories when Powell was sacked by Ted Heath. That's the sort of spontaneity that happened in the, in the 60s. And that's the sort of politics of the 60s. And we're going back to that. So therefore, anything, anything that stops that, anything that's the opposite of that is good. But it won't involve the left. It won't involve the anarchists. And it won't involve the, the activists. It has to involve the ordinary people spontaneously coming out, which I keep reiterating and saying time and time again. Trouble is, it's not happening. What will bring it about? I don't know. How much more can people take? I don't know. But it seems that they've taken, they're being shafted, they're being fisted, and the fist is coming out of their mouths, and they're loving it. Well, if they're not loving it, they're not struggling against it. They seem to enjoy it. How much longer can this go on? We have a real problem. There's a real problem in this country, and I think we have to admit it, and I think that we have to say it, and I think that we have to maybe, I don't know, do something about it. Because the only thing that can bring about spontaneity on the streets now is another crash. Maybe it'll be the housing bubble. Well, you know, the rich are getting mega rich, and everybody else is like either staying where they are or getting worse off. But again, no reaction. So, and I keep hammering away at this. Why is there no reaction? Why is there nothing going on? And if somebody says that there is stuff going on, then I actually think that they're just deluding themselves because I can't see anything going on. And I'm always looking and I've got my finger on the pulse of the country and I'm trying to see what's happening. But no, nothing is happening. And that is a story of May Day in England, the year 2014. Nothing. Zero. So disappointedly, I have to say goodbye.